everybody, how's it going out there? This is Carlos coming at you from the Bourbon Bar. If you watched last week's episode, you'll know what's coming up now, and that is Old Rip Van Winkle Tenure. This stuff is really, really good, and it is amazing how nuts this stuff has gone in the last 10 years. It goes from a bottle that used to be $60 and findable at the time of drop season, and now is marked up so ridiculously. I've seen prices all over the place, $800, $1,200, $1,500, $2,900 for this, and it is absolutely ridiculous. But nonetheless, I am a fan, and I am fortunate enough to have a little bit. So let's give you guys a review, as drop season basically just happened here in Illinois. Uh, this is Thanksgiving week, and um, last week was drop week for most big retailers. America, sorry it's a little late, but Matt Porter, for you of course. Myself a nice little pour. I've been waiting a long time to review this one. This is something that I genuinely really like, and I just wanted to wait for the holiday season and or drop season to come around. So, what better time than now? Uh, Ten-year age stated, 107 proof, an MSRP of $70 from Buffalo Trace. Like I said, unfortunately, that's not the case for most people when they come around finding it. It's just unbelievable. Completely astronomical prices for it these days. And of course, the higher age stated ones go for significantly more money. And yeah, it's, it's, it's sad what's, what it's come to to get your hands on a bottle of this these days. But hey, when you're lucky, you're lucky. So cheers, you guys. Going for a little nose here. A little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of cherry. Some nice caramel and brown sugar. Funny, there's a little bit of like sweet gingerbread. Nice nose. Legs are coming in nice, thick and heavy there. Oh man, I could just smell this all day. It's a little bit of butterscotch too off the nose. Really nice, rich and oily. Great weight, great mouthfeel. Caramel, cherries, little spice, and starts to ramp up with oakiness near the end. For the most part, sweet oak, but it is very viscous. I still have a nice oily coat to my palate right now. A Little bit of leather. Go back, see what else I can pull. Uh, all you guys, please go ahead and drop comments if you don't mind. Let me know if you've had Van Winkle, seen it, price was ridiculous, um, what your experiences have been with it, if you guys have ever come, I guess, in contact with it, or seen it more so. Off the palate, I really just get nice notes of caramel, cherry. So a little bit of leather and nutmeg and then kind of that oaky spice that starts to turn up a bit. Uh, no burn in the mouth at all. Really no hug going down. There is a little numbing to the tongue because as you can see, I already fumbled a couple words here. But that might be just because of how oily and heavy it is. This is fantastic. Uh, again, MSRP 70 bucks. I really wish all of you the best of luck in finding it. And if you guys can find it, truthfully, anything under 150, 200 bucks tops, buy it all day. It's, see, this is a bottle where it's worth paying a little more. Keyword is a little bit more. Twice the price is roughly 140. So yeah, 150 ain't too bad. Comes out once a year, very limited quantities. Restaurants worldwide pretty much get first dibs and then you know the markets whatever's left. So you gotta keep that in perspective. 150 bucks at worst, maybe 200 at worst, absolutely. But when you start talking like mortgage prices for this, 
I don't know, unless you're just absolutely loaded and don't mind spending, I would not recommend that. Take a deep breath and I'll start to get the, the finish on this. Nice bit of sweet oak, a little bit of leather on the finish. Spice gradually gets a little stronger, never out of control or disproportionate. Uh, that oaky spice at the end, it kind of starts to dry out a bit. And there's still very subtle undertones of like a caramely sweetness. A nice mid-length finish. So now is gonna be the hard part. We're gonna grade this. So starting with pricing, this has me torn because I partially wanna give it two grades and I also feel that's unfair. So I might have to come with a not applicable grade for this. But truth be told, let's just, let's just get into it. At MSRP, at MSRP, it's, a, it's an A all day. 10 years, 107 proof, great taste, great quality. The problem is, the reality is, maybe 10% of buyers, I mean, not just roughing, you know, less than a quarter of people who buy it on a, uh, on a shelf at a store are gonna get the chance to buy it at an appropriate MSRP-like price. So the other 75% of consumers are gonna be looking at those astronomical mortgage-like prices. And that's why I feel like it's not fair. You can't grade that. You, you go from an A to an F with that kind of pricing. So let's just do that. I haven't done, I haven't given anything a double score before. And I think this is one of those and I have a few more coming up the pipeline where it's probably going to be similar in the pricing department. The others I can easily, easily give a grade, no problem. But with some of these, there, there needs to be a split. A at MSRP, and it hurts me, but an F at secondary because it's, it's ridiculous. No one should have to pay 10 to 30 times price of something of anything really, it's just, that's just not fair. That's complete consumer gouging, and uh, I don't know, some will call it capitalism, some will call it price gouging, it is what it is. Anyways, next score is going to be availability. I'm just gonna give it a flat D. It comes out once a year, and some places, a lot of places will put a limit on this, limit one per customer, and the simple fact that all places don't I'm not shaming it, it's just the reality. If there's no limit and it's close to MSRP, what's to stop somebody from just throwing 500, 600, 700 bucks on their credit card and getting a couple cases of this? Mind you, a case of Van Winkle is a three pack, so you can get two cases of it and if it's MSRP, you're less than 600 bucks, you're not really blowing the bank. So anyways, D for availability and then quality. Taste, mouthfeel, finish. I'm just gonna give it a flat A. Um, it's really awesome. Tastes great. Again, it's not the A plus or incredibly outstanding, but it is a solid A. It's, it's tasty, it's delicious, it's got a great finish, it's got some nice depth. And this is something that I will, con excuse me, I will continue to chase every year and I kind of give you my price point. So that's where I'd pay. Not going to pay insane amounts of money for it. Can't afford it, but anyways, cheers guys. Thank you for joining. Hope you guys liked the review. And um, just a heads up, the William LaRue Weller and a Weller single barrel are coming up next. So cheers guys, thanks again.